Man just, you know, had a little bit of thinking to do after the last fight, and uh, so I half hinted that I want to come home, and my dad sort of half hinted that he wanted to be back training us. So it was the right move to do, and uh, to be fair, we've been flying in camp. You know, I've got a little girl, and the first lockdown, uh, Neil gives us a few weeks off, and I've obviously been back with my daughter then every time. When I said I was going back training, she was always crying and. Was going in the hub of us, wouldn't talk and stuff. So, you know, I just was sick of being away from him. At the end, you know, I was down there just stuck in a flat, you know, train twice a day, but then nothing else to do, especially with the lockdown. And I could have been back home with my little girl. So, and obviously, I've got another little girl on the way now. So, I definitely played, played some of a part in it. A happy fight as a dangerous one. And uh, it's probably the first time in a while that I've been quite happy training in this home. And uh, I'm just kind of waiting for fight night now to, to, to show people that. The Vasquez night was a bit of a, a bit of a slip, but we're going to be back uh, better and stronger. You know, I've, we've had a good career so far. Like the European title fight, that was my fault. I didn't wasn't training for it. Got hit with a body shot and just didn't recover really. So I know where I need to be. And I know what I need to do, and I'm, I think it's going all right so far. Could be better, and we're going to plan on making it better. Do you know, like I'm only 27, but I feel like I'm a bit of a veteran now. I've had like 12 fights on Sky now, or with Matchroom, and I'm still I'm still young. I'm still fresh. I'm really taking any punishment and I've still got a lot to give so the journey's still young and win this next fight then we, hopefully the next fight after that will be whatever your boy dreams of. For your winner by split decision and the new WBA Intercontinental Super Lightweight Champion, the Sandman Louis Ritzer! By split decision and they will... I haven't really watched it back much but you know a couple of days later I went to my dad's house and uh, Asked him if he had watched the fight, and he said yes. And he, you know, I said, "Well, look, be truthful, with us, what do you think?" And he was honest and said, "Oh, look, we've got the rub of the green there. Definitely, you know, like we got very lucky. We got gifted the decision, but it's your chance now to either dwell on it or, or improve on it and, and come forward and, and uh, just keep keep going forward. And that's that's what we've done. You know, we made a few changes in camp, but just a clash of styles. I think that was probably." Vasquez's best performance in a few years and one of our worst to be fair. I think like you live and you learn and there's maybe a few things we could have done different in that fight, but we know that now, we've got the experience. Like people can have an opinion, but then there's like obviously Slayton as well where oh look Lewis, I don't think you won that fight. Well fair enough, that's an opinion, but Lewis you're this and you're that and that's a, that's a little bit different. And I was finding myself messaging people back, you know, like stupidly giving them a bit of stick and then people were people were messaging saying, hey, oh can we not have an opinion now? And it was a bit like I'm just going to deactivate it, get out of my mind, and then activate it again. And it doesn't seem to have been too bad since then. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the determination to stay focused on 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 punts. You know, we've got to got to make sure that we beat him, we beat him well. You know, we know what he's come to do, we know what he's come to win, and he'd be come to have a go. A bit like me, good job, throws with the body, stands in front of you. So if it, if it goes off what we've seen, then going to be a very crowd pleasing fight in a, in a hard night. You know, he could be one of them, one of them gems that new ones, are like, a bit like Matisse or Maidana, they come from Argentina, I didn't really have a shot in them when they, they did, they took it, so we're not taking them lightly, we've seen the South Americans come over, you know, one beat my mate Robbie, there's a few, there's a few uh, upset the apple card, so we've got to, we've got to make sure we're on the ball and uh, make sure that doesn't happen to us. It's just a buzz to be back, especially with the crowds you can see, even the ring walk with a thousand there, uh, it'll, be, it'll be jumping and, and that's, that's, what, that's what I need to, to, to get us up for these fights and I was kind of waiting for fans to be back and a bit of sh uh, shouting and sharing. Before the Vasquez fight I was saying it wouldn't make much of a difference and that, but you actually don't really know that until you get in there and, and do it and oh, I did, I missed, I, did I miss them I, massively so I'm glad that uh, they'll be back and they, they'll give you that little bit of little bit that you need to, to push on. They've jumped on board, you know, with the Newcastle fans and uh, it's great and, they, you know, every time you see you want to our own, you know, we're loyal and, and they are, like, especially after that Batera defeat, 
then for the Robbie Davis fight to be absolutely chock a block sold out, didn't have to do that and they did so uh, it's good to know that I'm that I'm loved by them and the support means a lot. In the day we'll fight as we're not really scared of anyone. You know, it's only me and Josh in there. And uh, I, I would take that fight in a heartbeat, not being like saying I was going to beat her or anything, but we'll fight as aren't you want to fight the best. And Josh is certainly, certainly is the best. And uh, I would love to test, test myself out against him, but he's done well, hasn't he, for British boxing. For Scottish boxing, you know, he's, he's, he's the main man, so uh, he's done very well. But like I say, hopefully we can get past Ponce and uh, if he doesn't vacate, we'll have a, a big fight up north. Great decision from Steffi Bull at that time, and terrific performance from Lewis Ritson. Yeah, it really was a terrific performance from Ritson. Carlo feeling the power. There was a left hook that went in. Well, this is early in the round as well, Adam, and you can see here he's on his back foot. Almost. You know, like for the British title and more opponents, we had like a hard, a hard bunch out to get through, and we, and we got through them. And if you had said, "Oh, you'd be fighting for a world title eliminator," you would probably think, "Oh." When you've started your career, probably think that wasn't going to happen. So we're in a, we're in a very good place and one, we're one win away. We've grown into the weight now. You know, we're, we're lightweight from the start of our career. We moved up and then we're probably at lightweight, but at light welter, but still in the lightweight body. Where now we're a fully fledged light welter, bang on 10 stored, and we're fit and we're strong in there. I think we're going to see a bit more explosiveness in the punches and back them performances. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go!